According to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation website, depression and anxiety are the two leading emotional issues that those with cystic fibrosis can experience. I knew people with CF experienced depression and anxiety, but I thought I would never experience them. You look at me and you see someone who is positive, smiling, laughing, and loving life. However, the fall of 2015, that all changed. After being released from the hospital, I began to develop small cases of anxiety and nightmare flashbacks. I had gone through such a traumatic experience that it was all I could think about. Even though I was healthy again, I was consumed with this fear that I would have to be admitted to the hospital again. Every time I went to the hospital for a follow-up, I would cry or become very distant because not only was I scared, the nightmare flashbacks returned. It's hard to explain what my flashbacks were like because it was never consistent on what brought the memories back. Sometimes it would be a word, a sound, or a thought that would trigger the memory. The flashbacks lasted for about three months, and as time went on, they slowly went away. However, throughout the month of October, I experienced an episode of depression. Towards the end of September, the health of one of my closest CF friends was going downhill. It got to the point where she was on life support and put on the list for a double lung transplant. The day I received the text of her being put on the list for a transplant, it's like time stopped. I felt so powerless and weak. All I could do was collapse to the ground and cry. You know that feeling when you're standing on the wet sand as the small amounts of water surround your feet? And you stand there feeling as if you're sinking as the waves return to the ocean. That's what I felt like for the entire month of October. I was standing there, sinking, unable to move, as the world continued without me. I saw my friends laughing and enjoying life. I wanted to be able to laugh, but I couldn't. I did not even enjoy the things in life that I usually loved. I didn't enjoy singing, golf, theater, laughing, or even school. I would come home from school, put my bag on the floor, lay down in bed, and either sleep, eat, or watch YouTube. The only time I would complete my homework was minutes before it was due. I began to isolate myself. I wouldn't talk to my friends as frequently as I used to, and would have small conversations with my parents. I put a mask on with a fake smile, trying to prove I was okay, but it was obvious I wasn't. One night, I cried out to God and said, where are you? Why are you allowing this to happen? I feel so powerless, so weak, so hopeless, and I feel like I can't go on. I need your strength to get me out of this hole I'm in. Three days later, I received a phone call then announced that there was a match and she is preparing to receive new lungs. As soon as I received this message, it's like a burden lifted off of me. I was finally able to run free. It's almost like I jumped into refreshing water that made me come alive. I immediately called my best friend. I felt I was able to reach out to my friends, smile, laugh, and enjoy life again. Most importantly, I praise God for hearing me in my time of need for the successful surgery and recovery of my friend and for the strength, comfort, and hope that he provides to those who call upon his name. This was all very hard for me to experience, but it made me realize how important it is to reach out and find your words. Don't keep it in on how you're feeling because this will only make it worse. And your loved ones want you to be able to tell them if you're sad, depressed, angry, anxious, and etc. While I've grown as an individual since that fall, I still get anxious about doctor's appointments and sometimes have a flashback every so often, but I don't bottle my emotions. I tell people how I'm feeling and receive the encouragement and prayer I need. I'm going to end this with a quote from Nick Vujicic. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. 
But you see, if I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and give up, am I ever going to get up? No. If I fail and try again, for as long as I try, there's always that chance of me getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And I want you to know that I found my strength in Jesus Christ. And you're going to find your strength in whatever you find it in. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me?